For example, third declension. This is caput or head. Yeah? Nominative, it will be caput. Then we change into genitive capitis of the head. Right? Take away is ending. Uh, capit will be the stem. Further, we are changing it into capita, nominative, plural, capita, yeah, we are working with this term, and genitive, plural, will be capitum, capitum, right? This is the correct forms of the, uh, of the, uh, of the noun stems. So, I hope everything is clear for you now. Now, we think uh, we are going to speak about uh, the... Um, now, I think we are going to speak about the attributes or anatomical terms. A term, this is the word or the couple of words which determine the special notion or the special characteristics of something. What do I mean? According to the structure, the terms can be simple or compound term. It can be simple or compound. Simple term. The word simple says that it has only one word and this is the noun. For example, costa rib, ligamentum, this is the ligament, caput, this is the head. So it's easy. The compound terms, they according to their forms of uh, making up, they can be agreed and non agreed and also it's uh, very easy to understand that agreed means that something is agreed with something and non-agreed something is not agreed with something what do i mean agreed terms usually consist of two words these words are noun and adjectives the noun plus adjective plus adjective in latin language this is the order of uh, putting uh, the uh, of putting the words in the, the terms it means that the first will be always on the the first on the first there will be only noun on the first place the second will be adjectives or other words non agreed and they will be agreed in number gender and the case for example linea transversa this is the noun the second one this is the adjective these words are both in nominative singular feminine as are ending right also nominative singular and feminine gender it's an agreed term non-agreed terms they consist of noun plus noun in english it will be of something noun of something right so the first one will be in nominative case and the second one will be in genitive case also, the first noun can be of nominative, different gender, and singular or plural. The second one can be, it's obligatory to be in genitive case, but it can be of different. They, they can be equal in gender or they can't be equal in gender. And in case, this one can be singular, this can be plural. This can be plural, this can be singular, or they can be both in singular. For example, and 
I would like to pay your attention that in English they will be translated something of something. For example, basis mandibule. As you can see, basis, this is the nominative singular feminine. Uh, mandibula, this is the nominative, uh, this is the, sorry, genitive, genitive singular feminine. And it will be translated like base of the mandible. Another one, for example, arcus coste. For example, arcus coste, arch of a rib. Uh, it will be uh, masculine, nominative, uh, nominative, singular. This one will be feminine gender, genitive case, and singular. Another can be arcus. Costarum. Costarum. We are looking at the end in Costarum. This is the genitive plural, right? So here we have the same masculine nominative singular, but here we have feminine gender, genitive plural. So this is the example of the non agreed terms. I also would like to pay your attention on the translation of the non-agreed term. For example, we have already known that non-agreed term consists of two nouns, right? The first one will be in nominative case, another will be in genitive case. Nominative case, genitive case. But when we translate, we can translate in both ways. For example, here we can translate like word by word, noun plus noun with of, right? For example, it will be neck of a rib. And here, in another one, we can translate with the adjective. For example, it will be costel groove. But we also can translate like a groove of a Rib. So these translations are synonym, synonymic and uh, this one is also correct. Mm -hmm. Now I hope that everything is clear for you with the questions uh, and uh, uh, now I think that everything is clear for you. For example, uh, concerning the grammar material according to the first declension of the Latin nouns, according to the declensions of the Latin nouns, according to the terms, non-agreed terms, according to determining the stem. If you have some questions, you can uh, ask me there or your teacher on Viber or in Discord, yeah, in the live discussion. And now I think you are supposed to read the grammar material, also additional grammar material, make some tests, make the exercises and to, to understand and to be ready for the next class discussions.